guys. We're doing something we haven't done in a while. So this is um a binder tour. Okay. <clears throat> this used to say glitter sets. I was going to peel it off. All I got was the R. <laughs> so I just need to make a new one. Haven't got to it. All right. So in this one, what I actually keep, I have this random Lillian Fox. Um, I don't know. I don't even know that I need this color. This was a free one that came with an order I did. I don't know that I need this anymore. I feel like we're getting closer and closer. Color Street is. So, you know. But what I keep in here is my partials for one. And I know that this is a distance away, you guys. But you're going to have to use your, your zoom in if you want to see something up closer. My goal was to make it so you could see both pages more than being able to see up close. So... Um, this is partials and I keep in here anything that I consider like a solid. So whether it's a glitter or a not glitter, like a cream set, a jelly, an ombre, um, you know, whatever it is, is in here if it's a partial set of it. Okay. And then what I also keep in here is what I call my neutrals. Or like what I would consider to be the um, staples that like when you're putting a mani together, probably something in here will go with it. So I've got whites, which this is Swiss and Tell, couldn't care it, chasing clouds and leftover confetti. And then on the flip side of it, that one's that puka shell one. Um, it's a petty, but I still feel like it'll work beautifully for the whites. This is the new ivory one that came with Color Cascade. And you can really see the difference there for the ivory and the white. Love it. Uh, this is Gotham Knight, the black tips. Uh, Starfall. Soho over it. Uh, Pyrite's Life. Mind Matters. Uh, only in Vegas. So we're in the blacks now. Starfall tips and we're meant to, no, not we're meant to, we, J'adore Glamour, um, Broadway, and Russian Around. And then up here, this is the Anniversary Silver, which is called Spotlight. I just don't know the names of these really new ones. And there's, um... J'adore Glamour and Silver Lust and um, Fort Worth It. So these are like silver and gold and gray. Oh, this is it in Coco, um, Japan called Steely Gray. And last I looked, they don't carry it anymore. So that makes me sad because it's gorgeous. Moonlit Path. Uh Amazing Grage. Oh, crap. I don't remember the gold anniversary. Socialite. That's the problem with the mini sets, you guys, is I won't remember their names. Like, if they don't hang around long enough, I just won't remember them. Um, Morganite Delight. This is the December box one. Glitz and Glamour. Um, this is an in Coco Japan. This is a current set and it's called 24 karat. It's a very good, like take place of ostentatious if you need it. That's the December box. Actually, I have a few sets I should put away as we go. Got another one of this. I wish we'd get a gold like this, not the one we have. because let me find it there it is so this is stay golden that's our gold right now and this is the gold from the box um cocktail hour like to me this is just a sandy color this is gold like that really really um yellow gold is what i'd like to see toffee nut 
Cocoa Cravings, Sahara. Um, Bronze Age, Upper East Side, Brownie Points. No, wait. I think I mixed them up. What's this one? This is Bronze Age on the bottom. This is Dark Matter. They're pretty close. This has... This is just darker, I guess. Nothing on the back. Let me see what else could go in here. Now I'm dropping stuff. No. Oh, yeah. I have a partial um, blueberry blast that can go in here. So let's flip to the front. And these are not in any hard and fast order. I've tried to keep them like that. It just doesn't work out. Like a lot of these, if they say SH on them, they're Sully Hansen sets. Um, and it's not necessarily that they're a partial. It's that when you get the Sully Hansen sets... They come like this little package. So I take them out of that package and transfer them into one of these. And then that's how I store them. So that's my, um, basically this is my staples, you know, what I think, um, I have to, you know, what you should have. Basically, it's like my core catalog. Okay, art and holiday sets. Let me pick up this one I dropped. So I do not. Deck the halls. We just used that. Okay, art and holiday sets. Now, they do get their own partials because otherwise I feel like a lot of times what I'll do if I'm wanting to use an art set, I'll come to the art set partials and then I'll go through the rest of them. Over here are just cute off-brand ones that I have that I want to use. Um, but they don't really fit any of the, like they don't fit in the pages. So that's where they are. And this is a mix off brand in Coco Sally Hansen a little bit of everything a lot of some things no oh, no where are these guys gonna fit well this one can go in with these because that's such a small package I'll still be able to see it and same for these. I need to add more partial pages to my art sets. Okay. <clears throat> now my art sets, I have sort of organized. You'll have to bear with me for the understanding of it. So like these are um, animal print ones. That can go over there. Because that's also, Catitude Problem is also an animal print one. But there was a different, actually the zebra set I'm wearing right now was there. And then rainbow sets, which we have two. Okay, these get into the more like what I call the swirly sets. And we just have kind of a lot of those where they're like, they're just kind of swirly, right? They're not necessarily a section in my head. Now this one, this section is going to get banging from the um, fall release because these are like materials. So there's the jean and plaid and lace and this other check one. I've got houndstooth and argyle. Um, stay in tile is here because I just don't know where to put it. This one, the checks, the checks and trees I'll probably use separately. And then this one is like a lace one. And this is an OPI one. And it's got very melty, squished tips. But I'll still use it because I really do think that's a dainty, lovely set. And then my like um, patriotic type. 
And then we go into the blacks and golds. This is another OPI. For those of you that don't know, um, the OPI lacquer strips are basically in cocoa strips. They're one of the partner people Fa worked with back before Color Street. These are all the blacks and golds. And then this is the more like, I call these celebration sets because like they're confetti style or, um, you know, they look like a celebration. Now, this is where my heart lies. These are all my like um, full moon Manny sets and there's pages of them. They're just, they're just my little everythings. This one, it's just the stars, not the ghosts. But once I use them, I'll throw the ghosts in their own packaging. They'll be fine. Oh, they're so good. Rainbow Rhythm doesn't necessarily have a reason it's here. Um, I could actually put it back with my very small rainbow section. And I have my cell phone upside down under this, you guys, to give it a little lift so that things don't fall out the tops. And then, that stars. Okay, and then it gets into what I think of as like summer sets. So there's a coral, that weedy one, the clouds slash water, hibiscus, the monstera leaves, Okay. All right, now this, like, I feel like these are all kind of, these were all leafy. This paw print one, I didn't necessarily have a spot for it. I just like it. Um, like, this is the shamrocks, fall leaves, the Canadian leaves. Again, with the, like, I don't want to say material because these are, like, tiles to me. This gorgeous peacock one is another OPI one. And it's going to go so good with Lux Lemons. Well, in my opinion. Um, And I know that this is technically, Celtic Tales was technically St. Patrick's Day. But for me, it just fits in this stuff. And I probably wouldn't use it at St. Patrick's Day. I'd just use it to use it. And cocoa, um, not kiss and toil, floral of the story. And then puppy that, and this was the foundation, harvest blooms, which I adore. Um, and the pressed flower set, this is kind of the florally section. This one move up here okay and then these again are OPI sets let me show you guys eBay by the way look at that it's like the big poofy feathers you would have seen on like old-fashioned hats and then this is like black and silver floral so good this one's called floral and this one's called pink and black lace because it's like the lace with the feather. Oh, so good. So good in my opinion, right? Not necessarily everybody's, but it is in mine. And then now we're getting into seasonal sets. So these were all, are all Valentine's Day. And like, I mean... This whole page I'd wear when it wasn't actually this whole page. I'd wear both of these when it's not Valentine's Day. But that's where if I thought in my head, oh, I've got to grab uh, that pink leopard. I know it's Valentine's Day, so my head's going to lead me to this section. So that's why I keep it sectioned like that. And then some Thanksgiving, my solo Easter, <laughs> silver Easter set. I'm never happy with their Easter sets. I'm sorry. I can just never get happy with them. Um, and I know I've given this set away a million times. And then gotten this set and then given away. Like, I just can't get settled with their Easter sets. 
uh, St. Patrick's Day and then all the New Year's. So like this is the Encoco one of it. Um, and these are the two Color Street ones. I just, this fireworky print that they use. I mean, these three are all so similar. So similar in, in print, that is. Um, even in print and color and style. I just, I just love them. I love, that's been the best, hands down best New Year's Eve they've ever done, if you ask me. So, let me get in there. Okay, and then on the back side, we got one more St. Patrick's. Then we're into, um, in Coco Christmas and just Christmas in general. And my favorite baby here, which you'll see there's a bunch of because it's really, really my favorite baby. I love Barry Mary year round. I just love it year round. And then just a little hair more Christmas back here. I've got two of the petite Christmas sets in here. Uh, I probably won't use those, but Josie will. This is an off-brand snowflake one, but it's so cute. And then my sweet, sweet snow doubt. Oh, I would love a rerun of that. Okay, and then this is where all the goodness lies. Which, and you guys, I know this isn't Halloween, but it's how I use it, and I love it. Halloween, Halloween, Halloween. And Halloween. And these are some of the original Glow Getter and that new green glow in the dark little mix. And then I've got these little creepy eyeballs. I should split those up because I'm sure lots of people would like to use them. And I believe the eyes are glow in the dark. Mm, maybe not. I just put it in my hands and didn't notice it. This nail friend Linda Lloyd sent me and I just think it's so pretty. I just haven't used it. Off brand. I love this one. It's very marbly. And just haven't used it. Need to use it. That's all. I mean, come on. I'm not the only one who has plenty they need to use. Am I? Am I? Am I? So, um, Sally Hansen, OPI, any of those sets I show you, if you're not aware, those are all, um, Color Street before he got Color Street going. And I have a really great video of it and I think it's linked below okay <laughs> you guys these are all my beautiful colors so this is my biggest binder because it's just um, when it comes to colors two things I keep creams and glitters together because otherwise I was just forgetting you know like I was just forgetting to pull out glitters or I was forgetting to pull out creams or whatever like I couldn't for some reason could not get it together um so I finally put them together I've been happy I also once I put them together put them in uh, a roughly color order that I am happy with so now these two I would consider butterscotchy but they're with the yellows so um in Coco Korea in Coco Japan um, Mighty Heroes, Lima Lemons, Lux Lemons, and Lemon Beat Drop. And then we're getting into the like rusty and then into orange. So this is an old, old Avon, which is kind of where he started the old strip style. There's melty ones on here, but I know I can get the majority of these to work. And this uh, nail friend Amy Schultz gave me these. I just love that color. So there it is. And this is, yeah, Premonition, which is a duochrome. So, you know. Um, This is a super old Halloween. This is uh, Orange You Scared. It's a 2018 Halloween orange with big chunky orange on it. Throw it back, fa. Throw it back. Throw it back, fa. Um, trick or treat yourself. Fire Island Flame. Smash hit. This is the DIY Halloween. Mm -hmm. Heat wave. Coral something. 
yeah, Cape Coral. Oh, Seattle, yeah, Seattle Royal. This is um, Lychee Rosé from the sub box, but it reads orange to me, even though I know it's like coral. I mean, obviously my corals are with my oranges too, so they all read orange to me. And this is, yeah, Wild Instinct. So this is that glitter neon orange. Um, I don't really know where it fits in. It didn't feel bold enough to me, but I grabbed one just to have one. Uh, Pink-ish. So there's a super fat section of Portugal, which will only grow fatter because I love them. Uh, Valentine's Day. Angel something. That was the Christmas one with the lipsticks. This is Positively Pink, which was a breast cancer awareness set. Uh... Unicorn Jewel, I believe, which, let me make sure. Yeah. So, Unicorn Jewel, and then this is the other Prism FX pink, which is called Power of Pink. But the Unicorn Jewel has a more dusty tone to it, which hopefully you guys can see there. It's just a diff, it's a very different, a very different pink, in my opinion, anyway. Get in there, butter. Hopefully I'm keeping this spot on, you guys. Um, Fun and Fiesta. This was the Breast Cancer Awareness Pink Tips. This was the Valentine's Day one where it goes like hot, hot pink over to other pink or red to pink, whichever. Is this... Yeah, Social Butterfly. Oh, I really like that. I haven't worn it yet, though, you guys. I'll use it as a neutral in the fall um oh biscuit so this is sugar plum fairy and i just noticed that it's got smashed bottoms so that's gonna be a bummer um blushing and flushing and then i'm putting in cookies and gleam i just got one of those and then um Princess Cut, that's the new one, right? The core catalog. And Pink Power. So you'll see, I either want my pinks to be super soft or super bold. I don't know. I guess I don't wear a ton of them anyway, but that's how I like them. Uh, Deck the Halls. London Fog, I assume. No, Bad Blood. <laughs> so good. This is the... Valentine's Day one, head over claws. Get in there, I said. Spice of life. Uh, Santa baby. Or not, I don't know. Yeah, Santa baby. Carmine shine, love. Cherry on top, extra love. Fourth of July, no, Christmas red tips. Super love that too. This is my eggplant slash purple section. This is after hours or whatever. Yeah. After hours. Um, smoking? Yeah. Smoke sound new, which is a duochrome, like eggplant to a greenish. Um, this one is also magic potion, eggplantish to a greenish duochrome. Night Terror, Sweet Sweet Microchrome boo Baby. Ibiza, um, thank you, Karen Rutherford, very much. After I said it looked good on me, she sent me one. Jerk. She wants me to use purple. Uh, Flake Me Day, Deepwater Opal, uh, Deep Diving, beautiful. Oh, what's this one called? Pacific Paradise. It's a duochrome petty, and I haven't seen this style, or like this duochrome before, so I got one, but I don't know if I love that. So, like, usually what I do is before a ruckus, I go through and just take out stuff where I'm like, eh, I'm over it, throw it in my giveaway pile, and life goes on. Um, also, I'm working harder at just getting the sets I love, and not just getting everything to get everything. Uh, how sweet it is. This is petty, but this color is stunning, and we don't have anything that even compares to that. 
This is the Falls, right? Yeah, Wailua Falls. Okay, so this is Eat Teal You Drop. And when I was doing this set, I thought this compared to this. And boy, does it. So this is a double layer blueberry. Um, I guess the difference would be that this is sheer. You know, it took two layers to get it. But they are a very good comparison. And this was from last year. So if it's something you loved and can't get your hands on. This is called Highline Blue. It is uh, in Coco Korea. Freaking adore that color. Gleam On. Brave and Bold. And... Oh, Teal We Meet Again. This is from spring, right? Yeah. Into the mist. That's gorgeous. Oh, JD Business. Um, time. This is our greens. Our greens are finally getting better, you guys. This is called Pimento. And that is an in old and cocoa color. Queen of Green. Um, Viper. And hang on. I gotta go back. Yeah, Trooper and Viper. This is the new... Is it the Jungle one? Yes, Jungle Escape. Yule, because, I mean, honestly. Oh, God. This one's... This is matcha. This is so good. Oh, God, that's so good, you guys. Oh, my goodness. It's gorgeous. That was a sub box one. Oh, spruce, maybe? Nope, Gaelic Greenery. So Spruce must be on the next page. There. And uh, Scott Topic. And then we're coming into Ombres. I don't necessarily have these in an order. I just have them as Ombres. So Halloween Candy Corns. And Sideways Ombre. Up and down. Up and down. Oh, that one's good. High Tide. Ooh. This is the one from Christmas last year. This is the stylist. Um, sign up to be a stylist exclusive one. Shout out, Marie. Thank you, thank you. Um, espresso Yourself, Underground Magic. I love ombres, you guys. Um, Bloody Gorgeous, Smoke and Mirrors, Atomic. Sunset Boulevard, Nuclear Fusion, a coral, a some coral that I can't think of, so I gotta look at. Coral Bay. Can't keep those corals straight, you guys. Uh, the new one from St. Patrick's Day. Oh, I can't remember what that was from. What's your name? Yeah, Dose of Mykonos. So that's also when we got that tile set. And then these are kind of ombres but kind of not you know okay and then the newest section in my love life is jellies and I'm starting to think jellies are going to need their own book because we get the new release of them tomorrow with like seven and then there's three in the fall release yeah they're going to need their own book so um you know <laughs> they're just gorgeous I still wish yellow had a full set but here we are and then, let me put my bleed back. They're gorgeous. I mean, and in this kind of rainbowy order. And that's a one little random lagoon down there. <laughs> oh, I knew that was going to happen. I'm going to leave them. Um, and then the very last section is neons. So, this is think I can't think Equadorable and it is not considered a neon I know I've said this before to you guys but to me it feels like a neon it plays well with them and it's our red neon so high voltage there should be a yellow here but I must have it out somewhere um wicked wait why are you over here yellow See red, orange, yellow. There we go. Um, 
Oh, because I don't have a green up there. Blue, purple, pink. Blue the best. Um, when I need a green neon, though, you guys, I use that Sally Hansen set called Groove. Because it, it, it goes beautifully there. Um, and Kilowatt was just like... A waste of calling it a neon if you ask me I don't know where kilowatt fits but it's not in the neons now this is where life gets lovely overlays and shears this is my my one true love the whole book I love the whole book and sometimes I have a hard time using them and I don't know why because I freaking love them Okay, this front part, I keep a little clear as day for when I need it. And then lots of off-brand overlays because when it comes to off-brands, overlays are my jam. They can do things that Color Street can't do because they're printed on plastics. And they're just, I mean, they're just beautiful. So there, they're beautiful. These are partials, all overlay partials. And with my overlays, um, I also keep my shears, my three babies. Okay, I want to show you guys this one I got. They did not store this properly, so look at the color difference. Isn't that crazy? So crazy. So I don't know what it's going to look like when it goes on. And I'll still love it just the same. But Cookie Swap. Um, I think I've got this one and then one of the Encoco ones. And I don't feel bad about that. I feel like I'm getting over this set, so to say. Wing Woman, I'm not sure if I'll ever be over it. Same with Floral Gardens. Love them. Okay, here we go. Now these are like roughly and in order also. So these are the pep pet ones <coughs> excuse me and then we're in the like materials I guess so there's like the lace the plaid bandana stripes big dots with little dots and tiny dots oh I love you tiny dots and then kind of summery floral so we've got this one from Summer with the Mermaids. And then these two stars move into that star. Hang on. I've got one here. One of these to put away. And this is more kind of like a, like the swirly nail sets. These don't, they don't so much have a section to me. Um, but they kind of go there. And then these are my palmy bits and more floral in the hearts. These are the animals. I still have one of these because I would like to find a good use for it, but I'm not sure what that's going to be. And then this is the Canadian one with the red maples. And this is Halloween. Uh, DIY kit and there's a lot of them in there and they're they're babies um the spider whip or cobwebs and then the Christmas sweaters and the pumpkin jack-o-lanterns and then we kind of get into colored so this was like the writing one the holly leaves the turtles um chunkier glitters so this was the sub box one and Shangri-La and I have Shangri-La here because yes you can wear it on your own but you can wear it over stuff and it's bananas uh this I believe was a oh this was okay so this is virtual views so that has the like you know like a sh like uh like it'll change the look fairy light um, Love Shack, I think. Oh, Over the Moon, Thanks a Million, which needs to make a comeback. 
um, love potion. And so this, so light here, let me show you guys this. So this is Color Street Coming Up Rose Gold. And this one is called Pitapat. It's in Coco, Japan. So it's like it, but less. Can you see the difference in that? So it's like, oh, that, everybody was like, oh, that's coming up rose gold. Eh, not really. It's way more sparse glitter. Personally, super fan. And then it's got more little glitters sprinkled um, through the top and the bottom. But I have it stored with coming up rose gold because, like, it's the same color. Um, the mistletoes and Kelm's Fate. So we're in color, like, dip overlays now. Um, what's the purple? Lila's shouting it at me right now. Lavish Lavender, maybe? Yep, Lavish Lavender. Celtic, uh, dripping in diamonds. No holding black. The red, white, and beautiful. Oh, something burst. Botanical burst. Did I really only get one of that? E, I may be better find another of those. The stars, which I got a bunch of, but now eh, I'm feeling a little eh, about that because the tips made me mad. The stars did. Champagne fizz. That's the overlay from the box. Uh, everything's getting like it wants to tip. I don't want it to tip, but I don't want to put under there. I wonder if that'll work. There we go. That works better. Okay. Um, Road to Recovery. This is the pumpkin one from the DIY kit. This is called Glisten Up. Oh, God, that's gorgeous. This was when they sent the stylus the sub box like to sample so to say before they started the sub boxes this was one of the sets that was in there and it's freaking gorgeous i would take that as like you know a full set in a heartbeat oh uh, i can't think what this is called shimmer down um sub box sub box sprinkle sugar cookies i know that's not the same but that's what they make me think of Sugar high. I mean, that's kind of the same. Most definitely. So these, as we get back a little further, like most definitely. And then Glitter Sweet and Champagne Sugar are ones I kind of have a lot of because I kind of love them. Uh, fancy Pants. I still love that. I got to use my overlays more, you guys. But I feel like I love them too much to, to use them. Oh. Uh, Okay, so that's Fancy Pants. This is, oh, yeah, Wannabe. I couldn't think of the name. What's it called? The purple, all over purple one. Candy Lavender. Pink Peppercorn, Have a Ball, Raise the Roof, and then these are my in Coco's. Well, no, because we've got two of the sub box ones here and Peak Juluminosity. The Wildflower one in Coco Japan colored overlay. Um, something Meadow, maybe? Meadow Song in Coco Japan. Kind of a creamy colored overlay. It's going to be great in the fall. And these three are all in Coco Japan. Sunset, Golden, and Maple Spice. So Sunset Kiss, Golden Days, and Maple Spice. All of these are very sheer. And I will use them like an overlay. Because once they're off their backing, they're going to lose a lot of this color that's in there. So there you go, guys. That was your tour my latest most updated tour hopefully you enjoyed it hopefully you found some stuff you loved here's a little these are some of my off-brand overlays silver moons cutie pie paw prints i love this 
This is like Shangri-La. You could cut Shangri-La up and do this. Cute. Oh, love that one. These are like colored ones. So cute. This is one of my world's fave. So there's, might be a few in there. This is like tips. Oh, I love those rainbowy glitters. Come on, you guys. Little gold hearts. Oh, I love this one. Oh gosh, that's so good. Color creation. Somebody sent me that, I feel like. Karin? Nail friend Karin, was that you? Christmas one. Oh yeah, these are good too. And then these ones are from Shibella or Shibella. This makes me think of that one we got in the ocean sub box. So anyway, there you go guys. Hope you had fun. <laughs> Hope you found one or two you loved. <laughs> and hopefully I stayed pretty well on screen all the time. I'll see you next time.